Welcome to Children's Church for Sunday, February 7th. We're going to start out today by singing the fruits of the Spirit. We're going to be a star fruit. We're going to be a banana. And a coconut. The fruit of the Spirit's not a star fruit. The fruit of the Spirit's not a star fruit. If you want to be a star fruit, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the Spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. Can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I sing this song to get ready to listen to a story of God. You may have a special place that you sit at your house or special way that you sit. When we're here together, we sit in a semicircle, crisscross applesauce. Our hands are in our laps. Our mouths are closed and still. Our ears are open and listening and our eyes are open and watching. I wonder if this is a parable. It might be. Parables are very precious like gold, and this box is gold. This looks like a present. Parables are kind of like presents. We can't buy them or take them or steal them. They are already ours. I know another reason this might be a parable. It has a lid. And at times, parables can seem like they have lids on them, but when we open them up, there is something very precious inside. I know. Let's open our box and see if it's a parable. Mm. I wonder what this could be. It's very rough. I wonder what could be so rough. It's brown. I wonder what a brown place this could be. I wonder what this could be. I could place one end here and the other end here. I wonder what it could be. Let's see if there's something else that could help us. Hmm. There are these.
I wonder what those could be. someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. One day, a lawyer asked him, what is the most important law? And he answered, you already know. The lawyer said, yes, we are to love God and love our neighbors, but who is my neighbor? So he told a parable. A traveler was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers came and attacked him and hurt him and took everything he had and left him on the road half dead. A great priest from the temple in Jerusalem was going down the road. When he saw him, he passed by on the other side. A Levite, who was also a person who lived in the temple, was going down to Jericho. When he saw him, he passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, who was not even from the same country, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion and went to him. He put medicine on his bandages, on his cuts, and put him on his donkey and brought him to an inn and stayed with him all night. He told the innkeeper that the man could stay there until he would get well and that the Samaritan would pay for it. Now, which of these three, the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? was a neighbor to the person who was hurt and robbed and left by the side of the road, half dead. I wonder if the person who was left by the side of the road, half dead, has a name. I wonder where this road was really going. I wonder who was a neighbor to the robbers. I wonder who was a neighbor to the priest. I wonder who was a neighbor to the Levite. I wonder who was a neighbor to the Samaritan. I wonder how a Samaritan could be a neighbor. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as we hear the word of God. Our story today comes from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. 
Well, teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But the lawyer wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other, two, other side. So too, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver, silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. It is now time for us to give our thanks to God. You can say something you're thankful for that happened in the story or something you're thankful for that happened this week. If you're worried or sad or scared about something, you can pray about that too. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Let us pray. God, thank you for people. People who we like, people who drive us crazy, people who are nice, people who are sometimes mean. Help us to remember that you created those people in your image that they are our neighbors. Help us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Thank you for our families as we get to spend a lot of time together these days. Help all the people who are making big decisions right now. Thank you for the stories that you've given us to help learn a little bit more about you and what the kingdom of heaven is like. Amen. I am now going to change the light. Look, the light is in one place at one time, but I'm going to change it so it's in many places at many times. The light that was just in one place at one time is now in many places at many times. So the light and the love of Jesus may be with you in this room, while you're watching this video, and everywhere you go throughout the week.